Toast master of the day, hello Toast masters and guests. Good evening. How many of you remember your teachers? And do you think why you remember them? I I had many. But there are two teachers I remember in my life. And they are close to my heart. Both are female and very beautiful when I saw them the last. <laughs> you know, I, you people are fortunate that I could get a photo of them. Just hold your imagination for a while and see. My daughter is. My seven year old and three year old are my best teachers. I tell you three simple life incidents by which they taught me some life lessons. Hoping that you can also learn from your own kids in a similar way. My first learning incident from my seven year old. One day I was returning home from a very bad day at work and I was really frustrated when I, uh, I rang the doorbell and I could see two innocent faces when, I, when the door was open. The first one my wife and the second one of my seven year old daughter. Both asked me an innocent question. My wife asked, they had some, did you have tea? Same moment my daughter asked this another question, just uh, why are you looking so sad? I did not utter a single word and I just went to my room. Immediately, I, I, was, I started thinking of these two questions. With my wife's question, my frustration grew more. You know why? I was expecting her question to be, what happened? Or something similar. But my, with my daughter's question, my mind was started calming down. Why? Because she was understanding my state of mind before putting that question. She was teaching me, uh, uh, I was really wondering how my seven year old could get my state of mind in a matter of split seconds. This seven year old was teaching me to understand the state of mind of the listener and his way then to have an effective communication. By the way, at that moment if she would have asked me the moon I would have even obliged. Now, the second learning incident from the same seven year old. How many of you are married here? Yeah, almost said for Is there anyone who never had any argument with one spouse? <laughs> <laughs> I have no exception. Man. <laughs> Uh, by the way, this is before me joining uh, spacecrafters and uh, Toastmasters, maybe my spacecraft friends may be able to relate that more. Because after joining Toastmasters, I did not have any, any arguments with my wife. Because whatever she tells, I just obey. So there is no arguments at all. Jokes apart, one day I had a very long and fierce argument with my one and only one wife. And after that, I was too distressed and I was just watching TV. Just to kill the time. I was so distressed that I was even thinking of getting the assistance from a trustworthy, my trustworthy American doctor. Maybe some of uh, male friends may be able to relate to this famous American doctor, Jack Daniels. <laughs> I was again sitting in that bad mood and this seven year old came by my side and she just sat beside me. She took my hands around her and she was just speaking. Jaja, I love you so much. The next sentence which she told actually delighted me. I don't like my mama. <laughs> <laughs> this moment was actually a revelation for me. She was teaching me to be with a person when life is not so good. What we normally do when we know that our dear ones are friends or problems, we tend to advise them, we tend to offer them solutions without even knowing what is the actual problem. But this girl was teaching me to be with the person during a tough time is more important than offering solutions. Now 
my third simple another simple incident from my three year old last thursday we were just returning from mumsar beach and we were just waiting in a signal the whole family was waiting in a signal and uh, another car came in the last track on the passenger seat on the lap of the passenger a puppy dog was just popping out its head to the window to the window i saw this the moment my th three year old saw this she was laughing out loud she was virtually jumping on the back seat of the vehicle and her chuckles were contagious she was calling her sister to enjoy she was waving her hands to the other driver this made the other driver who was the arabic driver he was also enjoying that moment because of my daughter's happiness her happiness has made all of us happy this three year old was teaching me to in to enjoy little small things in life to lead a happy life before summarizing i'm still learning from my daughters the way they are happy the way they are learning new things the way they emotionally blackmail me to get what they want so watch out your own children and learn from them as they are your best teachers or you him